starting on another new project today, big house and garage slab. So this is the house and garage plan I got right here. So I got all my dimensions, plus they hired a guy to come in and set all my corners by satellite. So he's got a pin in each corner for me to go by. And that's all the way around the perimeter of the house. So when I get my forms up, I just got to make sure all my corners are setting on those pins and I'll be good and square. All right, so I got it all formed up. Probably took me a couple hours. Darren and Luke did show up right at the end to help me set it to grade. So we got it all formed, set to those pins, straightened it with a string and some stakes, and then we got it set to grade. Now we're just waiting for the plumber. We leave this off so they can get a mini, a mini excavator in here to dig out for all the plumbing. There's a couple bathrooms and a kitchen and all that, so they're gonna dig this all up. But they need the forms up in square so they can measure off them and measure off the heights make sure they got the right height on all their plumbing so we we did our part now they got to do theirs and then they're going to lay styrofoam radiant heat and then we'll come back and pour it so it'll probably be a couple weeks before we get back to this one hey everyone so we got our house slab ready we got about a 2100 square foot slab it's 10 inches thick so we're pouring it 10 inches thick they got the wire mesh well we got two inches of styrofoam down everywhere even up the edges then they got the wire mesh with the radiant tubing tied to that, the PEX tubing, so it's gonna heat this floor. And then we got a mat of rebar, two foot on center up, four inches, so it's just about in the middle throughout the whole slab. Got all the plumbing in, and we're just right about ready to go here. We're gonna pour this tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, but we'll have this all poured tomorrow. Figures, figures in the 70s for yardage. So, and then when we get done the house slab, get the forms off, we're gonna be putting a garage here. We got three drains going in the garage. We got a stamp patio we're doing over there. We got another stamp patio we're doing over here. So there's a lot of concrete here. Well, good morning, everybody. We're here on this big house pour today, 75 yards. It's about 6.50 in the morning right now, just waiting for concrete to show up. We're gonna dangle pump it. Since uh, this thing's t about 10 inches thick, it'd just be a lot easier placing the concrete rather than having to back a truck and pull it out of the chute. So we're just waiting for mud, should be here any minute. As soon as we get here, we'll get going. Here we go, 10 inches thick. All right, so we're on truck number five. We got 40 dumped. We had to wait a little bit for him. But we're moving along pretty good. It's been an hour, so we started at seven. It's eight o'clock now, dumped 40 yards in an hour. We'd have him dumped already if he had shown up right after the fourth truck. But he's here now, so that's good. It's looking so, so far so good as far as the, the yardage goes and hopefully maybe getting this for seven trucks. I think number five is gonna finish that house part there. And then we got two for this part. Just, just about what it figures is about 20 yards here. So hopefully we make it and don't run out and need a balance, but we'll know in probably about 20 or 30 minutes. All right, so it's about 8.30. We got six trucks dumped waiting on that seventh. I think the seventh is gonna finish it. You know, it's nice when they just bang them out and you get them right back to back to back with no weight. Yeah, we, we could have had this done probably a half hour ago. But that's just the way it goes sometimes with concrete. But we'll get it. We should be right here any minute. Um, again, 10 and a half yards coming. It looks like it's gonna do it pretty good so we won't have to get an eighth truck. But it's, everything went good. Boards all stayed nice and tight. Screeded it nice, bowl floating, got a little bleed water here, but it'll dry up good today. It's supposed to be a really nice finishing day. So this is the last truck washing out. We did make it with about, I think it was 73 yards. We had to wait a little bit for him. They had a little problem at the plant with the truck that was supposed to come here. So they ended up having to batch him out instead. So we waited about a half hour for him. It's about 9.30 now. We got it all in, looks good. Sun's coming up. So this thing's gonna dry really, really fast today. We'll be probably out of here by, it's 9.30 now. I bet we're done by 12.30, one o'clock. Especially being 10 inches thick, when concrete's that thick, it actually sets even faster. It generates more heat. So this is gonna heat itself up. 
and it's gonna it's gonna flash on us. So we'll stay right on it with the power trials. Get her done. All right, it's 11 a.m. We're just starting to get going. It's finally starting to get ready. Over here on this first truck, this first truck was down by about 7:15, so it's been almost four hours, and it's just ready now. It's what happens when you pour in the fall. You know, the the mornings are really cool. Then the sun comes up over the trees and then it finally starts to go. So this one's just getting ready. It's going to go fast though when it all goes. When it starts going, it'll go fast. Probably, like I said, probably by 1 o'clock or so, this is all going to be done. So just getting going. Alright, so it's 12.40. Most of the slab's done. Luke's up there just buzzing all that for the last time. You can see some of it turning black right there. Just this last load we had to wait on. We may have a couple more hits, so you know, I, told you, I said about one o'clock, this thing will be done. It's gonna be just about right on one o'clock. I think Luke's gonna buzz that one more time and that'll be all completely done. And just be a matter of waiting on this for a few more minutes. And we get it sawed, get the board stripped, and uh, that'll be it for today. Well, we're just putting the finishing touches on the sarn. It's two o'clock. Started here mud at seven this morning, 73 yards. All just about all done. Get the saw cuts in. You guys know the saw cuts have just helped to control the cracks. So we got them almost done. Got the boards all stripped. Loaded on the truck. So we'll be coming back here in a couple weeks. We got a garage to do here. We got some stamped concrete patios to do here, but we just had to get the house done so they could get framing. Good morning everybody, it's a Monday morning. We're here back on this job where we did the 73 yard slab that was 10 inches thick. Now we're doing the garage slab. Again, it's 10 inches thick. 7 a.m. Monday morning, we're just getting going. So fixing up, we got about 47 yards coming today. So let's get to it. All right, so there's two trucks down. 21 yards right there. We're not quite halfway. Four trucks definitely I don't think is going to do it. <clears throat> I got the third truck. He's coming right now. So pouring 10 inches thick, I mean, it goes in pretty easy. A truck doesn't go very far, so it's pretty easy to dump it out. Probably getting all kinds of rocks in my boots. Boots are about, I don't know, 16 inches high. But even, even then, you still get rocks in them. So we'll get him back in here and get 30 on the ground and see where we're going. That first truck's going to return to be our last truck, be our fifth truck. So he's got about an hour round trip. I wasn't too crazy about that, but what are you going to do? You're just going to take what they can get you. All right, well, there's our fourth truck leaving. 40, I think we got 41 and a half out of those four trucks. We got a little balance. I already called it in, so he's on the road. Should be here shortly. Been nice having just five trucks, so we could have had it all right here, but it'll be all right. It'll work out. Looks like 10 inches thick. That little area is probably three or four yards, something like that. We got five coming, so we'll be all good. Have this in, and then tomorrow, tomorrow we got this space here. We got a big patio back there. Those are, these are both stamp concrete we're doing tomorrow. And uh, then this whole project will be done for us. So look, it's looking pretty good. Good morning, everybody. So we're back on our 10 inch thick slab job. We're, this will be it for the concrete for here today. We're doing some stamped concrete patios. Got a front one we're doing over here, then we got a back one. But again, these are 10 inches thick too. So, I, you know, you, we've been talking about overkill on a couple of these slabs. This is definitely a little overkill for these, but it's just making it the same as everything else. You can see we get we did this yesterday. Got the garage slab all done, got it stripped. And that's a good thick slab, but this is what we're up to today. We got this front patio, it's about six by 32. That's gonna be stamped with Astro Slate. Nice setup there, 10 inches thick, Matta Rebar. And then we've got the back patio is 32 by 14. That's going to be stamped with wood plank barn board stamps. So again, 10 inches thick, matter rebar, two foot on center, all drilled and pinned into the existing slab so nothing moves. So this is the project for today. 
All right, so we got the first truck empty, got the first patio in. What we ended up doing was we we filled this one up with that truck, and then we emptied him over there in that other big patio, but we kept him below grades. So now we'll dump the second truck in there and fill that up to grade. That way when we go to stamp, the two trucks aren't mixed over there on the surface, so we're not stamping two different trucks on the surface. We'll stamp this one truck here, and then that truck there will be second, so we'll have be like stamping two different trucks, which should make the stamping process go a little bit easier for us. So it's about 9.30 in the morning now. We started pouring about 7. We got this one all stamped. So the creek's drying really fast. That's one good thing about pouring it thick. It dries faster, a lot faster. Just it generates a lot of heat. But this come out really good. Timing. The timing on it was really good by the time we got down. By the time we got done with that second truck over there and got our tools all washed and loaded and everything, this was, you know, really close to being ready. So it looks pretty good. We're getting ready to do the second one. Second one's going to be a barn board, 16 inch barn board. That's not quite ready to get on yet, but it's close. A few more minutes. So we got it all mag floated out. We got the edges all done. And then we got the stamps just sitting here waiting. So we'll spray all the stamps with liquid release, get them all released up. Then we'll spray this whole surface with liquid release and we'll get going. So a few more minutes, we'll start. So we got our stamp concrete all washed, cleaned, ready to be sealed. We just gotta let it dry out for a few days. Came out really, really nice. The darkness in the model defect you see now is gonna be similar to what it'll look like after it's sealed. And then we got our barn boards over here, same thing. All cleaned up. I did these ones first, so they're drying up a little bit, but that came out really, really nice. So which one do you guys like best? Do you like the barn board best? Or do you like the Ashler Slate best? Let me know. Both of them look really, really good. Same integral color, same re release, but uh, just different pattern. But they both look really, really nice.